Hello guys, today I'm going to teach you guys about making an EXE software from Microsoft Visual, Microsoft Visual Studio 2013. Um, this IDE you guys can get it from MSDN website. It is Microsoft Visual Studio for community, it is free. You guys can get it there and I will put links to the download in the description below. Okay. So, I'm going to show you guys some simple EXE application. I'm going to input my name and workplace. Okay, so for this one, to get started, go to File new project I'm going to call it um, VB tutorial okay it is um, visual basic language and I'm using Windows form application and click OK so first of all you're going to be bring to this new form one VB a design Windows Let's make it a bit larger and okay. Let's move this. This one's on your left hand side, it is called toolbox. This toolbox, you guys can click on it and drag it inside our form. But I'm going to do some explanation first okay, okay and then this one on your right hand side it is called um, properties so these are some common windows that needs to be inside your Microsoft Visual Studio if you guys cannot find okay, cannot find it it is inside view other windows and where is it? Properties Windows, see? And this one is Toolbox. Okay. Inside Toolbox, you guys find this label and click after that, drag it inside our form. It is called Label 1. If you want to copy and paste, as usual, Control C to copy and Control V to paste. All right. And if you want to change the text properties, go to this text and rename it name. And this one, I'm going to change it to first place. Let's add some title to our software. I'm going to call it tutorial. And so this one it is is called font. You can change it manually one by one individually or you can click on here and press this button. Ah you see? I'm going to make the font style as small and the size is 14. Okay. There you go, tutorial. So after that, I'm going to include some text box. This text box is for the user to include to input or key in their data. Control C and Control V. Okay. And I'm going to include some button. And I'm going to change the text property as. Um, okay. All right. Let's put it here. 
and one things you guys should know ah first of all this one this is how your properties is going to be sure i suggested that you guys use this alphabetical so it is easy for you guys to find out and this one this two this one is events for handling any events but we're not going to use it now and this one is properties the one that we're in now I'm going to change this first text box name as name txt and this one as birth txt okay so now we're going to use some code I'm using Visual Basic there are a lot of um, code um, programming language that you guys can use such as C, C Sharp and Visual Basic like I'm using right now C++ there are a lot of them and you guys can download the the source okay now to go into the coding to go into the coding you can right click and view code or you can double click it alright I want to make some message box so message box dot show open bracket and I want to make it like hello and then my name so you're from Malaysia this one is name txt and this one is going to be birth txt so how are we going to show inside the message box we type in hello close quotation and name txt dot text this is important because when user when the user type in anything inside here when and when the ok button is pressed the software is going to take whatever is inside here and show it inside this so hello and dot so you're from close quotation I mean space close quotation and birth txt dot text okay I'm going to remove this or you guys can comment so if you guys do this single quotation in front of any code let's say this one the compiler is going to exclude these codes for you so this one is important if you guys want to order your organize your code okay so let's let's give it a try first put solution see this one output either it is succeeded or it is updated that means it is okay <coughs> sorry okay let's start my name is Fran and I'm from Malaysia okay so it works let's say if you guys want to make some close button some new button and we name it as exit okay now for the code double click this button me dot close double click it okay let's try it and I'm from Malaysia okay easy 
okay guys I think this is for now for my tutorial I'll see you guys in my next tutorial and please subscribe for more, for more videos thanks guys